it's time, y'all. Married at First Sight. So, Married at First Sight season 14. Boston starts um, in just a couple of days here. Um, let's do some early predictions. So, for those of you that are brand new to my channel, I do TV show breakdowns. Um, so, for Married at First Sight specifically, I dedicate um, a video to every single couple every week, provided provided that they have something worth talking about going on. So if you only care about two or three of the different couples, you can go ahead and just watch those videos. So if you enjoy that type of content, go ahead, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and then um, hop into the comments down below. Did I say subscribe to the comments? No, subscribe to the channel. And then hop into the comment section down below so we can talk about, let's do some predictions if you know who is still together and who is not do not post spoilers into the comment section last season got very out of hand with people posting spoilers i don't know why y'all do that I've, I've never understood the thrill of spoiling a show for other people don't post spoilers in the comment section you will just get blocked that's really all it is so let's get into it with some predictions so um i'm just gonna pair these people up or go through based on what they said on the matchmaking special. I did not watch that three hour long special. That wasn't gonna get had because too much stuff from other cast members and other seasons and yada, yada, yada. So I'm going off of the matchmaking special, what these couples or what these individuals said about each other, how they were matched up, and let's make some predictions, y'all. So we have Mark. Mark takes care of his family, his mother's in rehab. His grandmother is in a nursing home in the same building. He's kind of like their caretaker or pseudo caretaker. He seems like just a really, really good, um, really big family man. So Dr. Viviana does ask him if he thinks that that would be a problem. He says no. Um, he has cats. So hopefully Lindsay, who he is paired with, has cats or likes cats too. Mark had a, he had a big personality which is great because Lindsay is a lot. Lindsay has a very big personality. She's very energetic. She um, said that she is almost always on the verge of tears because she's a very intense person. So she's even, which she's a very intense person. So which means that she loves very intensely. So to me, that tells me that Lindsay might fall in love easily. She gets sprung easily. Um, and when she loves, she loves, which sometimes is a gift and sometimes is a curse, right? So they are brought together. Do I think they are going to work? I'm going to say yes. I think Mark and Lindsay are going to be a good a good fit for one another just because um, I think their personalities were, will mesh and will mix a lot. They weren't paired off. They weren't paired up based off of that whole opposite attract type thing. So I actually think Mark and Lindsay are going to work. So let's see who else. All right. So next up is Elijah Wan and Katina. So Elijah Wan, um said that he's a reformed playboy, but a lot of women still think that he is one. He wants a woman that's going to, um, that is going to go out with him and give off a lot of good energy. He wants a woman that likes to cook. He mentioned, you know, wanting to come home and have a plate on the table, stuff like that. He wants someone that's going to match his energy. He seems like a very outgoing social person. So basically don't give him an introvert. He needs someone that's going to have the same zeal for life that he does. So they matched him up with Katina, who, can, who considers herself a foodie. So... All right, we're working already. Um, she likes to go out to eat, but if she has to stay home and cook, she has no problem doing that as well. So she wants a hardworking man that knows how to not only set goals for himself, but reach set goals. So don't be out here just setting frivolous goals. We got to go back and forth with that. Um, she wants a family-oriented man that knows how to interact with other people, and he does not want. she does not want a passive personality. So... On paper, Elijah Wan and Katina actually seem like they might could be a good fit. However, him considering himself a reformed playboy, nah, nah, nah. I don't think that's going to work with her. She doesn't seem like the type that's going to put up with um, a bunch of bullshit. I mean, to, to, to put it 
clearly. So I I'm not gonna give Elijah Ron and Katina at first at first looks. I don't think they're gonna last, but fingers crossed for them. So then we have Noi. Noi and Steve. It won't work. <laughs> <laughs> not going to work, but Noi says she hasn't had any luck dating someone that is on the same page as her. So she has always felt that she's been ready for the next step. The The guy that she is dating or is in a relationship with has never been um, ready to make that next step with her. So she talks about, she likes talking about her emotions and feelings, and she thinks that scares a lot of people away, which it, pro it, it has potential to. There are a lot of people, and I don't want to say especially men, but there are a lot of men that don't necessarily like necessarily being in tune with their feelings, but talking about their feelings a lot. So, you know, that might or might not work. She mentions wanting to be able to count on someone, Okay. So we switch over to Steve. Steve does not have a job. Steve lost his job early on during the pandemic. Um, says that if it becomes a problem in his marriage, that he can freelance or go back to getting a traditional job. He does not. So he it's not that he, because it just bothers me. Because why, she mentions wanting someone that she can depend on. Wanting someone that she can count on. Wanting someone that's on the same page as her. She mentions wanting somebody that makes around six figures. I'm assuming because she does. So you give her somebody that does not have a job. He said he's not worried about that. He can go get a job whenever he wants to. To me, that's a red flag. So you can work, but you do not want to work. All right. So, um... And he said he's single because he has not met the right person yet. They are not going to work, in my opinion. You cannot. We saw this last season with Mirla and Gil. You cannot have a person. I mean, if you want to be real, Michael and Mika. But you cannot have a person that is 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 asking for someone to be well-to-do, established, making six figures, which six figures can be negotiated. You know, I'm assuming if someone's making 75, 80 a 80k a year that's going to be fine for her but you can't drop her all the way down to somebody who's not bringing in like consistent reliable income that is crazy that is crazy married at first sight is irresponsible they are not going to work they're not going to work so then we have michael um uh, michael and jasmina so michael said he um is single because he was not making the necessary moves to commit. He wasn't being vulnerable enough in his previous relationships. But he wants someone because he's a he considers himself a high level thinker. He wants someone that's able to stimulate his mind and talk about politics and talk about politics and sports and relationships and just he wants you to be able to have an intelligent conversation and be able to hold an intelligent conversation so that's what he's looking for um even though he presents himself as very serious and um presents himself as very serious and very kind of almost monotone he said that if you ask his sisters and his cousins and his family members he is actually a person who they would probably tell you that he's super goofy and stuff like that. I personally don't think Michael is ready for a relationship, but we'll see. Jasmina is a relationship type of girl. She's been cheated on in the past, and that is what ended the relationship promptly. She wasn't, she wasn't playing around. So she's very social. She wants her husband to be social as well. I don't, based on what we've seen of Michael, Michael does not seem social to me. But I'm going to say that they, I'm going to say that they might work. I'm on the fence with them. For now, I'm going to give them a yes that they might work. Um, mainly because I feel like Michael is just kind of... I think Michael is a person that once he relaxes more around you, then he opens up. He like he looks like he's a social introvert. So I feel like once he gets to that point where he's more comfortable around you and he feels like he knows you a little bit more, I think that in that instance, he might open up. But I, 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 we, I'm, I'm trying not to think about the clips where we see the way that she has an issue with how he's talking to her. And I'm just going off of first glances. But I'm going to say yes, they'll work. I'll say yes, they'll work for now. And then finally, we have Alyssa who works in animal rescue. 
Um, she was dumped a year ago by a boyfriend of two and a half years. Personally, I don't think she's ready. Based off of that alone, you're not ready. But all right. So she said the guy didn't tell her why, but he did take her ring shopping, but she never got the ring. So that confuses me, but she wants someone that's going to have a good career. Um, but to her, that is not top of the list. So she wants you to have a job, but that's not a deal breaker for her if you don't. She wants mine to be a humanitarian um, above all things. She's very, you know, she's very like in touch with helping people, helping animals, doing that type of stuff. So she wants her partner to have that same passion that she does. So then we have um, Chris who wants someone that is positive, optimistic, and flexible in life. So the only thing about Chris that troubled me was Chris having a empty dog cage. Aside from that, because I just go get the dog if you want a dog. So I think they're going to work. I think they're going to work because I think they would actually, I think they're actually going to be good for each other. But so we have Mark and Lindsay. I'm saying yes for us for now. <laughs> Elijah Wan and Katina. I'm saying no. Noi and Steve. I don't, I'm saying no. Michael and Jasmina, I'm on the fence, but I'm going to lean over towards yes for now. And then Alyssa and Chris, I am going to say yes. So hop down into the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the upcoming season. Do you think you're going to, who do you think is going to last? Who do you think is not going to last? Do not post spoilers. Do not post spoilers. Um, if you have not already subscribed to the channel and I will catch you guys on Wednesday.